Okay, so now we have our pins crimped and, um, and we're gonna start building our connector out. So uh, you have to go by the pin out in the installation manual. So um, just for today's sake, let's say our CAN bus high terminates to pin five, our CAN bus low terminates to pin 10, and our CAN bus uh, terminating resistor is on pin 15. So let's go ahead and pin these out. So I'm gonna take my pin and go on my numbers. Now this, you know, this is the terminating side of the connector where it plugs in and out. So our pins are gonna come in this back side. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So, oh, that was my CAN bus low and it's supposed to be CAN bus high. So how I could fix that, ex insertion extraction tool. So the red is for standard density pins, uh, or the red white. The red side is the insertion. So if you have a, a pin that's in a like a cannon plug and it has to go in through a rubber layer, that's what you'd use the insertion side for. And then the white is the extractor. So that's what we're going to use now. So I'm going to lay my wire inside of this extraction tool. There's like a little kind of tray you could you could call it. So that wire's inside there and that extra extraction tool loops around. So now you can slide it, it'll go around the pin and you just push it in until it bottoms out. Uh, it shouldn't be a hard press or anything like that. Now, once, you, once it's all the way in there, hold that wire in the pin, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, connector, and your pin comes straight out. So let's try that again. So our CAN bus high is on pin five. One, two, three, four, and five. Our CAN bus low, which is this guy, is on pin 10. So I've got six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna use our, in, our LRU's internal terminating resistor, which was on 15. So I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Clicks right into place.